I'm sure it's been, it's been a while since you've probably uh, seen me uh, appear in a video. It's like, say some time since I've uploaded a video. Yeah, I figure well, there's not much to do anyway since uh, this uh, COVID-19 shit has pretty much uh, caused like a slowdown and everything. Slow down the fucking economy. Slow down everything. Supposedly, they've been they've been trying they've been trying to um, like say like they've been trying to make every effort to say find this curve that you've heard, you've heard about. They say find a curve as try to mitigate the spread. Even around here, the amount of ventilators at this uh, particular state, like say Pennsylvania has, is like so. Not all of them are to say it's only just a fraction of, the, of their available ventilators are in use. Well, it's good to get to say many of probably are working at flattening the curve. And now people are saying, this country should not be dependent on China. You know what? It is true. Because once it's once it's a pandemic, completely uh, subsidized, completely uh, say subsides and comes to an end, there needs to be like say a multitude of uh, of changes that need to be made in the long term. Yes, a multitude of long term fucking changes. Because the last time, last time a major pandemic rigged thing fucking havoc was probably like say over a hundred years ago. I'm sure about that fucking Spanish flu shit. But the reason I was fucking worse. Because they did not have uh, antiviral drugs, antibiotics. In fact, they didn't even, they did not even have uh, ventilators in. Figure if that Spanish flu had occurred today instead of COVID-19. It probably more similar to like that fucking uh, swine flu pandemic that occurred back in 2009 that started then. Even then, maybe not, maybe even then, the number of people might might have got sickened, might have been might have been lower than expected, or lower than actually re reported. That's what they say about this fucking COVID-19 shit. Not just saying that all China's uh underreporting uh, underreported in numbers, or is downplayed and shit. Well, I guess I guess people I guess uh, shit can happen in this fucking world. That's what happens with fucking when say goddamn nations viruses emerge in their country and the next thing they rise. <laughs> they the fucking they don't they just they don't they need to realize that shit can fucking happen because if somebody because of some fucking. National government's fucking arrogance. That's like China. Say so they get too fucking arrogant. They get too arrogant, all that bullshit. Who knows what the fuck that is? I think what's going to probably happen is that, that is, I guarantee. I think I say for years to come, they're probably going to be debate. That's probably going to be a fucking intensive form. That's going to probably be a subject of intensive fucking debate for years to come. I think I think I think a long term solution they should, that, that the whole fucking world should do is try to invest in alter try to fucking set up alternate manufacturing facilities elsewhere. I don't care even then I don't give a fuck if they have to set them up in Africa. And people are concerned about Ebola. Well that's easy to deal with. Vaccinate everybody. They have evolved vaccine vaccines and shit. Vaccinate the fucking population. That's easy to deal with. And to say I'll set up manufacturing facilities in Africa, that could provide those African countries millions of dollars that they could probably use to say improve their fucking standards. Best way you can improve that country is improve their fucking economies. Like the pay on China. I guess people don't I guess people always say, Oh, history can repeat itself. What happened when they had that fucking Spanish flu pandemic? They didn't fucking incorporate social distancing measures in.
And I guess in today's world, they probably figured a way to how to vote. They, they pretty much, uh, they might have fucking uh, worked on ways to say, oh, how to curb the spread of infectious diseases. Ugh, it's fucking, like everything goes to shit anyway. And I'm sure you heard about all those fucking lockdowns in other countries, schools closing everywhere. Even in this country, governors issuing state, say, state governments issuing stay-at-home orders. I'm sure if you probably heard, about, I'm sure if you've been watching the news, I'm sure you probably heard about all the fucking lockdown protests they have in Michigan. And I thought oh, the number of new cases might have been slowing down. But the only good part about it is that the recovery rate's probably accelerating. Well, well, it's safe to say it's probably getting higher than, say, that fucking shithole country we're on. And that's probably good. All you just need to do now is accelerate the recovery rate, rate past fucking China. And maybe the... See, like the only probably good about everything is that this country probably has conducted more, say, say the United States has probably conducted more goddamn fucking uh, COVID-19 tests than the, whole God, than the rest of the goddamn world. Over three fucking million. It's probably, it's probably, even then, it's probably safe to say they probably tested enough for, say, say enough tests for, say, cover 1% of the fucking population. One fucking percent out of, say, over 320 million. They probably conduct over 3.2 million tests already. And they're probably, they're, they're probably they're talking about, oh, well, I'm to ramp up the fucking tests and shit. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of good shit happening. Like, say, oh, ventilator production being increased. That's good anyway, at least. Talk about, say, oh, the healthcare system is not, is not overwhelmed. Now it's like businesses out there making their own fucking, uh, Face mask and shit like that. I don't know why. I guess in this fucking world, shit happens. World Health Organization decided to play along with China's down attempt to downplay the shit, and now nobody has trust in them. And it don't surprise me, even in the fucking media, like those fucking pricks that say CNN, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, ABC. They're fucking biased. They're so fucked. They're so fucked up. I don't know. Even in my country, you probably don't even trust the mainstream media. And not surprisingly, Fox News has pretty much been more. It's been successful in the goddamn ratings. Even the even the ratings for TV show, even the ratings for our local television news, nationwide, has uh, increased. Yeah, right, and the most and the interesting part is, like saying the Pittsburgh area here, television news, local TV news view, viewership was like, was always higher than say, than anyone in other cities. I'm sure I've seen the shit that, uh, some of the shit even put on YouTube. That's probably creative. Like this person, uh, same son of a bitch is pretty much, uh, I fucking pronounce his last name. Say John, say John, whatever, how do you fucking pronounce his last name? Krakinski or what the fuck? Same son of a bitch married to Emily Blunt. He came with a fucking series of YouTube called Some Good News. Which is about, which is trying to report saying news that's considered good. People trying to people trying to get creative anyway. That's not that's not our creative videos out there like <laughs> one featuring say Polly Shore, say titled Polly Shore's quarant say quarantine with his ex in Maui. I don't know. <laughs> figure something though. Figure some of the shit you see coming up on YouTube these days. 
Probably a good way for people to say a good way to provide entertainment for the fucking world. Even though, even those uh, big time YouTubers might see their fucking ad revenues get affected negatively. Ugh, shit, everything goes to shit this world. Is, everything goes to fucking shit, it's not even fucking funny. Me? <laughs> wish I had some goddamn fucking money, wish I had some, wish I had a goddamn stable source of income. A real stable source of fucking income I could probably use to say, pay shit. <laughs> but I guess the ironic part, I guess the ironic part might be is that the whole, that the whole, the whole goddamn world could have fucking hit rock bottom. <laughs> but the only fucking, but the only way you know, even then, the only way you'll know if the whole world has hit rock bottom, if they, if they, if they, if they, if they, if they all subscribe to my goddamn videos. They all subscribe to my videos and watch them. <laughs> then you would know the whole goddamn world hits rock bottom. <laughs> that's it. That's an easy. That's easy. That's an easy way to tell. <sighs> Shit roll this is. But hmm. but even then, well, might as well just get a video put up there anyway. At least ensure there's some fucking product in the pipeline. Or ensure there's some product that made it being made available. <laughs> okay, so...